Hello, welcome to Happy Horror Tame. My name is Tim Murdoch. I am here today with the lovely, bold and beautiful Melanie Kinneman from Friday the 13th, part five, Bye. A New Beginning. So today, we're just, I'm just gonna let you know, it's Halloween today and I am so happy I am getting to spend time with you on Halloween, um, even though this probably won't wear, air until um, Friday the 13th. Which is even better, <laughs> exactly. it's more appropriate. Oh, and I must add, today, well not today, but this entire year is the 30th anniversary of Friday the 13th, 13th Part 5, A, a new, new Beginning. Beginning. Okay, my first question for you, Melanie, is, uh -oh. let's just start from the beginning. Okay. How did you get the acting bug? How did you start in acting? Oh, I started really young. I was five. And I grew up in a family, I was a dancer. I started to go to dancing lessons and I just excelled at it. Uh, it was just a talent. So I started dancing and singing. I also had a talent for singing, so I had lessons and that sort of thing. In a very small town of Massachusetts. And things just kind of uh, escalated for me where I started to get work. And I went to New York City, and then I moved to New York, and then I went from there. But I was always interested in acting. It's just it started out in a musical comedy kind of way. And in 1984, I'm guessing that's when you auditioned for this horror film, but you didn't know it was called Friday the 13th? I did. They, they told me. How yeah, did you yeah. find out? Because like, I know they're very protective of They them. told me in the audition. Oh. Yeah, they didn't keep it too secretive with me. I, I, I don't know why, but uh, they let me in on it. So, And it was wasted on me because I knew nothing about Friday the 13th nothing about the franchise or the prior film. So you didn't run out and see the final chapter? I saw the final chapter oh, when did? I got cast. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. I ran out, saw it, saw it twice. Oh, yes. in the theater? Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's cool. And then uh, Kimberly Beck and I had the same agent. Nice. So we met and talked. It was nice. Oh, yes. They're still friends like today? I don't see her. I occasionally see her. You know, you know oh. where we see each other at conventions? Oh, yeah. Friday the 13th. Is, it, uh, is there a favorite location you like to go in there? I liked Monster Mania, uh, that's in New Jersey, and Chiller, in New York, also in New Jersey, nice. because it gets me back to New York. Mm -hmm. Is that, I mean, like, I know you live here, I love it. My love is New York, I love New York City. Oh, nice. I think it's the greatest city in the world. Wow. Everything's there, theater, Every, I mean, everything's there. Anything you want, you can eat at 6 o'clock in the morning, you can eat at 2 o'clock in the morning, you can get Chinese food anywhere, right? Yeah. You can't get that in LA. When you were auditioning everything, like, mm -hmm. Was horror films on your radar, or did you prefer comedy or drama? You know, it was not really on my radar. I had never been up for horror films. I didn't really see... I, I'll tell you, my favorite film is The Exorcist. Oh, awesome. That scared... You know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the greatest. But um, no, as far as my life and auditioning or being up for it, no. And then the films that I got were more dramatic. Because I love drama. I love very dramatic scenes, as you can see in Friday the 13th, with the running and the screaming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I love Friday the 13th because it yeah. is, I've said this before, but I think it's like a soap opera, and like you always want to know who's coming or going, and um, like when it said the final chapter, I was like, who's the new beginning? Yeah. And like you were my favorite character in Heart 5 because you were the most conservative, and I know you hate the pink sweater. But I like the pink sweater <laughs> better than that opening shot. Right. All the stuff I wear in the first half of the film. Couldn't be more heinous. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, the pink sweater's not a bad thing. I just hate that it kept getting lost. Right, right. You know, come on. It's mm -hmm. paramount. <laughs> Get it right. Oh, no, that... To this day, it bothers me. If you watch Crystal Lake uh, Memory. Memories, yes, I, I do talk about that damn pink sweater. What was the most positive experience of being in the Friday 13th family, and what's the most negative thing? The most positive, I think is the response, I've, the affection from all the fans and all the people that just love these sort of films and the franchise. I'm, I'm still to this day shocked, 30 mm -hmm. years later. Yeah. I've gotten to meet a lot of people because of Friday the 13th. I think maybe in the industry, mm -hmm. the negative would be that at the time, it wasn't hip. You know what I mean? At the time, it wasn't cool to be in that movie. It really wasn't now it is. So, uh, career-wise, it was a negative, believe it or not. Were you, um, like, 
I mean, like seeing it all together with the music and the, the effects, and like, were you surprised? Because it does have like the highest body count. Were you like, like, oh my gosh, this one has a lot of death going well, on. Well, I did. <laughs> That's all it really had going on, was death and rain. Um, well, like I said, I had no experience prior, except for part four. And for me, that was a bloody mess anyway. Mm -hmm. But so entertaining. <laughs> yes. But part five, so I don't see a whole big difference because I really didn't count the deaths. And a lot of the times when I saw the screening, I was like this. So oh, I, 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 I missed a lot of it. Hilarious. I missed a lot of it. <laughs> and we shot, I think the entire film was shot the month of October. I believe I started uh, around October 1st. And my chainsaw scene was Halloween, oh, nice. the 31st, today. today, anniversary today, um, we shot the chainsaw scene. And I think I wrapped maybe the first week of November. So now uh, we do have the luxury of Mr. Peter Brackey being here with us, oh, uh, author of Crystal Lake Memories. <laughs> Yay! And, um, and he signed my book. <laughs> yes. He's, I'm going to give you both a quiz, okay. and whoever um, loses um, oh, will uh, be topped up with an axe. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, we're oh, all somebody gonna sent me a, a funny uh, message. How is it that Vic had access to an axe when he was a patient in a mental institution? Oh, that's true. Also, it's funny is that he killed Joey. And he's the only one that Roy never goes after. He kills him. Roy kills everyone else but the person who's responsible. For right. Himself. He just goes away to jail. Then he goes, everyone else is going to pay. Yeah, so he kills everybody <laughs> else but the person. <laughs> they killed his son. You know, I didn't even think about yeah. it like that. Who is the editor? of a new beginning. The person who screwed up all of the pink sweater stuff. So I don't care. It's Bruce Green. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I hope he's not watching this because he probably already he, hates my guys. He loves Happy Horror Time. Okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. What is John Robert Dixon's character's name? Eddie. Whoa. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, wow. Opening weekend, what did part five place at the box office? Yes. No, oh, I thought you meant money. I was thinking. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, um, and here's, another, here's a bonus round for you. Name at least one movie that opened against Rise of Part Five, A New Beginning, on the same day. No, I Okay, that's a horrible joke. Um, <laughs> they are Porky's Revenge. You have uh, junk. <laughs> <laughs> what else? No competition. Um, the yeah. Last Dragon. And then a movie before Jurassic Park called Baby, Secret of the Lost Oh my Legend. god, I remember that movie. I bet we smoked them. Yeah. <laughs> you did, you smoked all four. Yeah. There you go. All three. Even though Siskel and Ebert gave us a bet. Yeah. Well, well, they never. But they, they said something nice about me. They did. That if I was smart, I would crawl out of that mud into a better movie. <laughs> oh. Well, on that note, thank you so much for being here, Melanie. You're welcome. Um, it was a pleasure. I'm looking at the beautiful, crystal clear sky that no one right. else can see but Lake. us. Yes. And um, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Thank you, Peter, for thank being you. here and taking the quiz. I think I don't. Did he win? Won. No, it's no. a tie, and he should win because he knows everything about Friday the Thirteenth. I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He does. He's an encyclopedia. Well, maybe it's a new beginning. Little terrifying. Yeah. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> you should ask her another one last oh, question. Yes, okay. If they ever, if you ever did another movie where they had you back, would you come back? Absolutely. Oh, I should. Have, I was supposed to do part six. Thanks for yeah. stealing my job. You know Sorry. <laughs> you know what? Now we need to cut, edit, and have yeah. you ask me that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all recording. It's okay. okay. You'll edit it. Um. On that note, thank you so much, Peter, for, for doing okay. the quiz. Um, <laughs> Peter Bracky. Melanie, yes. if they ever made another Friday 13th film, would you come back to the series? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I should have done part six. Jason Williams. Should have done part six. But the, I mean, not to throw John Shepard under the bus, but was he the reason that... Yes. So like they were, this, your story. We were contracted. We we were we were signed for two. I don't know if he was, but I think we were. But we were signed for two. And uh, I a month after we wrapped, I got the call that it wasn't going to happen. That part six because John had changed his mind. 
And just out of curiosity, did you go see Jason Lives when it came out? No. <laughs> you need to ask. I mean, well, I'm sure. I, and as a matter of fact, I hear it's wonderful. I hear the acting's great. The director's a nice guy. He's very good. But no. I get it. I get it. No. <laughs> why, why would I? <laughs> she is so funny and delightful. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. It's such a pleasure. So and, nice um, to meet you. And Oh, now we'll be new friends. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Beginning. I feel like we're drinking right here. Yeah. Everyone just watching it. I should have done this in my jammies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stop spying on us. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Thank you. I, happy Halloween. Even though this will air on Friday the thirteenth. So happy Friday the thirteenth, everybody. Yes. Happy Friday the thirteenth. November thirteenth.